Today's show is featuring the original Corgi cars. And we got the Corgi Juniors. I just had to put all my Corgis together and show everybody what we got. This is the Hillman IMP. These range from early 80s all the way down to the 60s. It's just a mixed match of vehicles that I've found over the years. But you can see there's actually a piece of luggage on the inside of this. Got my little turntable so we can show you the specs of this car. Give you a general idea. This is about the size of a Hubble car. You can see the difference in the size. So that's that one. This is a Corgi Junior Chevrolet van. See that, and it's one of my favorites from the juniors because it's advertising Pepsi. I like anything that has advertising on it. Never was fond of drinking it, but I know a lot of people who does. <laughs> I prefer Mountain Dew myself. I got a few mixed matches in here too. Uh, this is a Dinky Toys. It's the same scale as the Corgis and the same time period. But I didn't want to pass this up without showing y'all. This is an awesome Mercedes Benz. It's got a driver who is metal. Everything you see here is metal except for the rubber tire. This is an older one, obviously. At least early 70s, late 60s, I believe. The only thing wrong is the steering wheel is missing. Might be a simple fix if you can find the right wheel. And we got a Corgi's Juniors steamroller. I have had this thing since I was in high school. This is actually one of my first Corgis I've ever gotten. I never played with it much because I already knew it was old back then. The barrel is plastic. Everything else is metal. How cool is that? Then we got the taxi. This is one of my earlier ones I've picked up. I got it about a year ago. The door is open. I don't believe it to be too old. Seven, late 70s, early 80s. But it's got the suicide doors. It is all metal. And it's made in London. Uh, actually, it's the London taxi. It's made in Great Britain. As all the Corgis are. I gave, I think, $2 for this, I believe. It's one of my last older videos because I did pick it up at the art sale. And here's a Corgi Jr.'s, oh, what is this? Guy Tanker. We'll show you all the bottom of that. This is Exxon. I love anything that advertises gasoline. Three axles. And it's got the split window. It is all metal except for the bottom. But it's a nice size heavy duty casting. Yes, I know. We want to get back into the Corgis. So here is a full size Corgi. This is my second favorite of all of them. Y'all, I think y'all like uh, the next one I'll show you here shortly. There's a guy inside of that. I think this is a taxi, if I'm not mistaken. Don't really say. 
but it's an Austin. And it actually has swivel wheels, which is actually pretty cool because I don't know if you can see the inside of it, but uh, it moves. Pretty good technology for back in the day. And it's all metal. It is super heavy. It looks like a taxi. And the thing on the top says Koji makes me think that it's advertising like a taxi would do. Please let me know what your favorite in this collection is. I'm always happy to hear from you and your opinions. This is a dinky toy. It is gray rubber tires. This is one of the older ones. This is a trailer that goes to the trucks. Here is a Corgi Mercedes. This is the biggest model we have. It does have a steering wheel. The glass is kind of yellow now. I don't think nothing really opens on it. Oh, I lied. <laughs> you can see the trunk. And well, hell, you can even see the front of it too. <laughs> I've had this thing for a couple years and I just noticed that. Because that explains the clean engine. This is a really nice model. Got rubber tires. I'm making sure the doors don't open, but the, yeah, the doors do not open. I'm sure if we clean her up, the, the windows would turn a little bit more clear. It's just from age. I do not smoke. We do not smoke. No, yeah, so don't think that. It's not from the yellow smoke. Superman is my favorite hero of them all. This is my number three of the Corgis. This is a Corgi Junior Supermobile. I say this has Corgi, it don't say Junior. But this is 1979. So it's not really too old. But it is 40 years old. And it even has these things that push in and out. It does have a crack on the window. Or glass there. I would love to find another one of these. I just picked this up at a yard sale over the years. Because I don't ever, never buy anything offline. Let's get into the James Bond 007. Uh, I gotta say this is one of my favorite of them all. You can see the driver in the cockpit. You do got the open and close roof here to launch the driver out. He don't actually come out, but there's a thing back here. You push down and it actually shoots out the front end. It's not really working too well because it's dirty, but uh, it does have the hubcaps on it that tend to come up missing. They fall off. I don't know if the front one's ever had them, but here is what the bottom of it looks like. It's a fantastic piece. There we go. Okay, I shoved it down. But uh, I don't much about, I have not really messed with it too much. I don't want to break it, but I got it down. And yeah, we got that one, and we actually have two of them. This one, the paint is actually a lot better, but it is missing one of the red spikes on the wheels. And you can see the driver. He's actually nice and clean in this one. But uh, I was tinkering with it earlier. And I can't even pull that out. I don't know how to get it out. It has all kinds of gadgets on it. I just have not really got to experiment with it. But I'm sure if I mess with it long enough, it would, I would figure it out. The James Bond 007. Times two. I like this dinky toy. It has a little history to it. Bought it at a yard sale. And it was the only toy they really had. And they actually dug it up with a metal detector. And uh, I got it for $2. Did I get ripped off? Or is it a 
nice little artifact. I like it. It has no broken glass. There's no pieces missing. It's just got rust and dirt. I won't restore it, but uh, I just like it the way it is. I love cards like this. It has its age to it. I don't know the age to it, but I'm guessing it's late 60s, early 70s. But I am glad someone rescued that. This is a Koji Toys trailer. It even has a hydraulic thing on the bottom of it. And open and close door in the back. And we have a truck that we'll put with. This is a Koji also. Very nice shape. Uh, there's not a thing wrong with this. No missing pieces. Even has the spare tire full size. Don't know how you get to it though if you needed it. Glass is nice and clean. Check that out. This hardly got played with. This is number 470 for those who's wondering. It's a Jeep. I do believe this will fit it. If we can get it in there. Well, that's a plastic trailer hitch. And it don't even... So, I'm going to go ahead and show you the other truck. Because I think that one has it. You know what? None of my vehicles here have a trailer hitch. So, we'll just put that over there. Here is another truck. It is obviously missing something or other there over the years. Other than that, it is in good shape. It's a Corgi Common Sun chassis. Uh, several of these I did pick up from a really nice individual as he was parting with a lot of his collection. So, other than that, I have really, I don't really get a chance to come across these too often around here. They're very scarce. I've been collecting toys for well over 20 years, and this is just one I've picked up here and there over the years. Here is a Core G, DC Comics, 1979. It's so badly worn out that I'm not sure who it is, but I'm thinking it's the Flash by the yellow and red. And you can see some lightning bolts on the leftover stickers on it. It is missing, I think, a wing here at one point. Still got some of it. I do like these old beat-up cars. It may not be worth a whole lot. However, they are a good piece of history. And rest assured, I would love to find a good condition one. This is my only Marks toy, besides the dollhouse I have. That's in another video. But this is the same scale as the Dixie toys and Corgis, or Dinky toys. <laughs> what do you think about this old race car driver? All metal. It's a definite unusual car. Just needs some cleaning up. Now here's my favorite of the collection. I still have several cars here, but this is my favorite. Vote for Koji. In very nice shape. It still has the original dude in the back with his microphone urging you to vote. I probably should have put this out during the interesting election we got going on right now. Check out the bottom. Corgi. And this is a Land Rover from Great Britain. And it's in immaculate condition. It's got a little dust from the ages, but that could be cleaned right out. Is this your favorite? Please let me know. If not, please let me know which one is your favorite. But green is my favorite color. And it's just a fantastic piece. The yellow is not metal. But the rest of it most certainly is. And we got a Cora G Jr.'s Growler. It's a race car. What's left of it? 
It's actually all here. I'm not lying. I mean, it's actually in decent shape. It's just someone painted it. But it's an older car for sure. Maybe early mid 70s. And who knows? All that gunk and funk might just come right off. Then we got a Corgi Jr.'s mobile crane. This is also a vehicle I've had for a long time. The bumper did get chipped away over the years as I've had it. It was already chipped when I got it, but it's it's just falling to pieces. Solid plastic tires. I think this pops out. Yeah. But uh yeah. I never had that on there, but there's a, probably a crane hook or something that goes on that. But I do like the design. It's a definite 70s model. Here's a Koji Toys. Bedford unit, as it says on the bottom. In decent shape besides uh, the fact I'm missing the back end of it. But it actually pops up and down. So hold whatever it had and it does have a crack on the glass besides that the paint and everything is not in too bad shape if you know what kind of trailer this had please let me know it may have been like a car hauler or maybe even a fire truck being red I decided to put this in here I have never even heard of this kind of company I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. It's a S-I-K-U. It's a Q. <laughs> it is all metal. It's a gigantic Ford Transit made in Germany. It is missing the sliding door. But uh, it has a lot of windows on it. And uh, it's a pretty good sized vehicle. And this is about the size of a Hot Wheels Matchbox car. It's like an actual scale van. If you know much about that, please let me know. I actually picked that up a few years ago at an estate sale in a box of toys. I did look all over that box for the door. <laughs> he was like, what are you looking for? <laughs> the door. <laughs> Never did find it. How about a Land Rover? Corgi Jr.'s. Wizzy wheels. This is a tow truck. Red on red with the light. Oops, come here. I definitely like the Corgis, and I'm always looking for them. But I will not pay you know top dollar for anything. I like to get some kind of a bargain. Unless I really, really love it, then yeah, and it's the right time and the right place. But that's very rare for me. I don't ever spend twenty, thirty, forty dollars for a vehicle, unless it's the original Batmobile by Koji. That is my all-time car. I'm always looking for. Here is a solid metal Koji Junior's Ford GT, nineteen seventy. This is all metal, even including the engine compartment. The kid painted it, obviously. You can tell it used to be orange. Got a slight crack on the windshield. This would be a great car for someone to restore. But uh, that's just not my thing. I like to keep it original. I do like watching the rest restoration videos, but I myself am not have keeping them original. This is a dinky toy midget. And uh, this is probably my older of the whole collection. And I'll show you why. The whole bottom just looks so old. I mean, it's like riveted in, beaten, thin metal tin. It's all metal. And the paint is just screaming 60s. But besides the windshield missing, everything else is actually here. Now, this is the same scale and same time period as the Corgis, but this is another company. 
made in France. Solidico, I believe. I'm not quite sure. I've only got two of them. That's all I've ever come across. So they may even be more rare than the Koji's and the Dinky Toys. If you know much about them, please let me know. But there's a dude inside of it, and he's plastic. He's leaning to the left. Only thing I see wrong is the windshield is busted. It broke off. At one point, it was a convertible. It still is. Since we're on the topic, here's another one. And the dude is in there, slumped over. But this still has the windshield. The paint is in better shape. This is obviously a Mercedes. You can see that on the bottom. Painted bottom. And these cars are actually really similar to each other. Except the red ones is longer, obviously, but in terms of being convertibles. Actually, I lied. There's not a damn thing besides convertibles, but uh, this one's wider, shorter. <laughs> it's the dude that was throwing me off. The dude is the exact same. And we got a Koji Jr. Wheezy Wheel. Military Jeep. I don't know what it is, but I got a lot of Jeeps, and they always just end up missing the windows. I don't see any insert for glass or anything. So I don't know if it's actually missing anything besides these poles here. Maybe it's like a rotating window. That's the only thing I could really figure on that. But other than that, it's not bad shape. Our last one is the Ford Thunderbird. It even says 1980 SP made in Great Britain Koji. So it's obviously about 1980. We got the opening hood, and you can see there's a little thing in there that actually pops up and down, and you can see it right here on the bottom to push the hood up. How cool is that? Or you can do it the lazy way. But it's in good shape. It's got some yellow to it, of course, but uh, besides that. It's a nice looking car.